Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how to create custom animations for WarZ aka Infestation MMO. So I'm currently in this thread made by the unknown. Uh, it's a tutorial but it's text based. However, he he did pretty much explain everything that needs to be done. So uh, as he said, you will need 3ds Max 2012, which is the one I have as you can see here and it's also open here is the default screen and you will need this plugin which is not it's just export so from here you will need to download 3ds underscore max to 2012 bin dot rar and once you download that uh, you will see four files uh, where you want to place them is depending on whether you have installed 32-bit or 64-bit, you go to your Autodesk 3ds Max uh, plugins folder and you place two files according to your Windows uh, architecture, whether it's 64 or 32. So since I have 64-bit, I just use these two files. Not 04, don't put 04 because it will give you errors. It will still work, but errors, yeah. Okay, once you've done that, uh, then you can easily open up 3ds, 3ds Max, and if you go to this little button here and press more, you will see the TSG Utility Manager. Uh, for easier use, you can press, press this Configure Button Sets, add another button, scroll down and put THG Utility Manager here and it will show up right here, you don't have to press more anymore as you can see. So, uh, okay, so just press the 3ds Max button to and press open. From here you will have to navigate wherever you have uh, your War Z set up and go to data and then tests. You will see three files and you will need the new skeleton physics max 2011. Open that, press open, adopt, continue and you will see the skeleton mesh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so as you can see, this is the skeleton that is being used for War Z. And if you press, for example, the hand and W, you can move the hand accordingly. It all sticks uh, where it's supposed to be. And for this simple tutorial, I will create, a, let's call it a wacky uh, animation for sprinting. Now, if we go to characters from your Eclipse Studio, hold on a second. Oh, let's wait for it to open. Okay, so once you're in here, uh, you can press show skeleton. And for this example, as I said, I'm going to make a sprinting animation, and that is sprint str. So this is our guy. If you play the frame, this is the animation. And it has 22 frames. You, ha you can make your own animations with your own frame rate, but for War Z, it's best to keep within the frame limit of already existing frames. So, uh, when we go here, we'll play, pl press, uh, I think it's this key, yeah, this little key, bottom, and we are going to set length to 22 and enter, oh, okay, it's already automatic. Okay, if you press OK, now we see that we only have 22 key points. 
Uh, I checked here, it's on frame 9 that he steps and on frame 21. So, as I said, this is just gonna be a very retarded animation. <laughs> well, I said wacky, but that pretty much sums it up. Uh, I'm going to. Okay, shortcuts are W for translation, E for rotation, and R for scaling. So I'm just gonna make this quick. Okay, that's about it. Of course, you can use multiple viewports, so you can see uh, how are you doing regarding this thing. I'm going to put this to wireframe and left. I'm just going to align these two. Okay, that's about. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect. So uh, now we have the animation. If we go back to full screen, now as you can see, there is no animation. So we have to press this little key button and press Auto key. Now, if I decide to move something, as you can see, there is a keyframe. However, at this point of time, I want this leg to be here and at point 9, I want it to be right about over here. Yeah, that's how wacky our animation is going to be. Okay, let's, let's put it out like this. Okay, so as you can see, between these two frames, our foot will do this. During this time, I want this foot to be right about over here and just move it out a bit. Yeah. So at frame 9, this foot will go up in the air and this foot will get down on the ground. As you can see it will do this. It's gonna be a very nice animation as always. You can expect quality content from me. So if we run this okay that's about it and now if you press remove auto key and press play we'll get this kind of thing kind of creepy but that's how wacky our guy is he's really happy about sprinting I won't bother animating arms at this point so when you're done with your animation you just have to press this little utilities key the TSG utility manager and uh, you have to export biped anim you can name it wacky running you can save it it will export and okay uh, the mesh file the mesh button is for exporting models the skeleton is for static skeleton mesh not animations and animations is for animations export scene will export everything okay so if we go to uh, our export folder you will see the new backing and running animation
location file ANM. So we can copy this to the or Z bin data animation file right here. Since I'm just doing this for the test, I'm going to replace the sprint straight animation. So sprint straight. I'm going to remove to back. To copy this. Um, okay, so if we restart our Eclipse Studio, show skeleton okay and our sprint would be working as you can see and if we wanted to test it in game we just have to press 84 and -hoo -hoo -hoo! there we go he's so wacky he's so crazy he's one of a kind of course and making animations for this game is kind of tricky because there's Sprint straight animation, straight left. Basically, you have to make eight different animations for each uh, for each side, which is kind of a problem. But there, there it goes. So that covers up making the animations. Uh, however, the guy also mentioned about using motion capture. So if you pr go to motion tab with biped selected, uh, there's a motion capture, this roll bar. You just have to press load motion file and there will be all kinds of animations here. Let's say, let's say this. Press OK, and now we have to find our guy. Okay, there he is. And if you press, oh, ho, ho, there's a lot of animation here. As you can see, he's carrying the box, he's carrying the box. However, we do not want to. However, as you can see, he's not walking on a straight, straight, straight point. So in order to fix that, we just have to press this little plus button and press this button. And now if we go home, we'll see our guy over here still walking. Huh. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Anyway, so I showed you how to make simple animations and how to export them. Good luck.